Today, we're feasting our way through five dumpling spots in Manhattan's Chinatown to see which ones are best. From fried to steamed, get ready for this mouth-watering insider tour. And I'm bringing along two of my local friends as guides, Ben and Ming from the Bing Buzz. Is there anything more iconic than a fried dumpling from a spot like Tasty Dumpling? This spot has been around for so long. It's so iconic. A lot of people have grown up on this spot. And after a game of basketball, come here and grab a little snack. So all the kids in the park love this place. Yes. Are you the guy from YouTube? Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. Hi. Hey, how are you? Glad I'm at a good place. It's your first time eating the dumpling. Oh, nice. What'd you think? Really good. Alright, well enjoy. Nice meeting you. <laughs> wow, usually the spot is like packed on the weekends. Packed. This is actually I think the quietest I've ever seen it here. Yeah, really. Nice. To order the number one. Very important, cash only, yes. I've been waiting for this. I mean, I think this is one of the best deals in Chinatown, 50 cents each. Now you said this isn't even the cheapest fried no. dumpling, <laughs> not, not even by a long shot. That's why I gave you the look. <laughs> Four dollars, <laughs> pork and chive dumplings, just a, a classic. Mm. Mm, nice and crispy. I never put so much sauce in mine. Mm until you did that. I love it. I love the combination of the sriracha, vinegar. Spicy and sour and savory all in one. There's a reason why people of all ages love this dumpling spot. So at some spots, the dumplings are pretty dry. This spot is actually pretty greasy and it's so much better with the sauce. It's not too doughy. It has some chives in it and a good amount of meat. Mm. I'll tell you, I think a lot of times I'm more in the mood to do a dumpling run like this than I would be for dollar pizza. I definitely go for a dumpling run over a dollar pizza run. But if, if you're a fan of like anything fried, never had a dumpling before, I think they'd be a really good spot, like your first visit in Chinatown. I think so. I love dumplings. I'm so excited for this tour. Mm. There's something cool about naming your store very simple, like dollar pizza, fried dumpling, tasty dumpling. And just like dollar pizza store, they have to mass produce, mass serve, these dumplings to make it work, and these guys are doing it. All right, Ben, we've got a wild card for this stop. Instead of your traditional dumpling, we're gonna get a shumai. Yeah, we had a stranger took us here one time and we fell in love. Ming almost cried when she had it. <laughs> this is amazing, I love this place. And these dumplings are a little different, but I'll, I'll wait for you to try it. Okay. As you can see, it's a little more of an open kitchen and uh, nice place to sit, a lot of sitting. So you could easily do a sit down here if you want. Oh yeah. What is this? Yes, it's a hot oil. It's a better with the sauce. I'll do another one. <laughs> one more, okay. Sure. How hot are we talking here? <laughs> Love it. This this is the most visually appealing place, I'm pretty sure, of the entire video. Alright, got some shumai pork and shrimp inside, right? Heck yeah. Hot oil on top. Let's do this. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Wow, so soft and silky. Ooh, hot. <coughs> <laughs> what happened there for the other amateurs? Too much hot chili oil for me? Yeah, but now they see it coming, you won't do it again. Never had this before, don't down the whole thing. I should have been warned when Ben was like, I'm like, why is he doing that? Okay, and then it hit me. Well, wait till Ming comes on the camera, she's gonna drink the soup. <laughs> okay, much better. Get a little bit of that heat from the hot oil. I like how silky it is. Yeah. But man, this thing's got a kick. <laughs> Look at how plump the shrimp is, and there's a good amount of pork in here. Oh yeah. Scallion lays on top beautifully. All right, my, my only my only thing is next time less of the hot oil on top, and we're good. <laughs> like just I didn't need that second round. The second <laughs> round was snuck up on me. These are pretty much the wonton. These are technically shumai, and shumais are actually yeah. a little bit exposed. But as in the name wonton garden, they're actually very similar to the famous wonton that they serve. Yeah. The wrapper is much thinner. It's square wrappers, much thinner, so it floats better in, in the soup that they made it. And yeah, if you ever bring your friends to Chinatown, this spot won't disappoint. No, I know I already love this. Woo! Mm. Oh. Ming just put me to shame. She's like, John, I could drink this soup for breakfast. You can't even handle it on one shumai. I'm ruined, I'm ruined. Shumais and wontons are technically dumplings, and not all dumplings are wontons and shumais. And this is why I hang out with Ben and Ming so much. They teach me a lot about Chinese food, Chinese culture, what's too hot for me. Make sure you subscribe to their channel for more adventures like this. Bing Buzz, link in the description.
Ming Deluxe Greenbow is one of my favorite spots in all of Chinatown. This place has been around for so long and it hits every single time. So many people come here, visit here, and get everything on the menu. There's such a variety, but today we're gonna eat some soup dumplings. Love soup dumplings. We're getting the Xiao Long Bao. Boom. Crab and pork mix. $9.95. Cash only. Everything's cash only today. Most of it, huh? Yeah. You could have Venmo. You could do Venmo. Oh, you could Venmo? <laughs> yeah. Cash only or Venmo. Ming, have you ever had a soup dumpling on the street before? Hmm. No, I don't think so. This isn't really, would you consider this street food? <laughs> Usually no, but um, first time for everything. All right. right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bite a little hole on the top so that you can let the steam come out so you don't burn yourself. Now this hole, you're gonna pour some vinegar onto it. Into it, I mean. Whee! Okay, all cool down so you don't burn yourself. You pop it in your mouth. And that's how you eat a soup dumpling. Ben and Ming in our video showing Chinatown's most popular eateries did go to Zhou Shanghai where they properly showed me how to eat soup dumplings. I was doing it wrong all those years. Oh. I saved it, I saved it. You wanna pour the vinegar for me? Yeah. Thanks, mom. <laughs> and just down the rest of it. Mm. And drink that soup. <laughs> That's the best part of the end right there. The soup at the end, oh, the vinegar. That's the missing link right there, that vinegar. I haven't been to every spa, but as far as soup dumplings are concerned, Deluxe Green Bow's always been my favorite. It's really up there. All right, John, Asian dad style. I think I missed Ming's tutorial, so. He fell asleep during Ming's tutorial. All right, show, show us how it's done one bite. Mm. <laughs> soup dumplings started from like a rural part of Shanghai and it's enjoyed by all now and you probably find really great soup dumplings in Flushing but I think these are pretty much up there as well. One of the best things about soup dumplings is that it's super interactive, super fun to eat. And I think Deluxe Green Bowl actually became a really popular spot because they're one of the few that actually open really late. So how late are we talking? Oh, 10 p.m. but it's pretty late for this area. It's Cheers! Cheers! Does it grab for dumplings? You've literally created a sideshow here with your performance. <laughs> People are stopping in the street. Why are they making fun We're doing it for YouTube. Oh, for fun, because we enjoy it. <laughs> uh, let me pour this in. Holy s! <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Bye. Bye. I think he just started a viral trend right there. Ben, you can tell we're in the right place. Look at that faded sign. Only good things are ahead. Heck yeah. Yeah, that sign looks like it's been here forever. <laughs> this place doesn't need any help with exposure, but this area could use a little more exposure. This side of Chinatown doesn't have all the fancy, cute dessert shops, but this one is definitely one to check out. Hi, oh, 102, 10 dumplings. Two, Wait, go. Five, five, five. Man, we got lucky today, because last time we walked through here, we couldn't even get through. It was like people on people. We're in business. Yeah. These look way different than the ones at Tasty Dumpling. Yeah, I think this shape, this way of frying it is very uniquely to super taste. It looks like a Chinese taquito. Our friends who frequent this place showed us the right way of eating this. All right. Let's pour it all in. I know John is a little worried, but it's going to be worth it. Then we're going to close this back up. And then we do a little... <laughs> and then, voila! Oh. I've, I've never seen a dumpling like this before. We're ditching the chopsticks, right? We're just going in with the hands? Heck yeah. All right, this is a lot of chili oil, but I'm just gonna take a bite. I'm not gonna down the whole thing like last time. You'll be all right, John. All right, let's do You're it. I love this. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It is so much crispier than any fried dumpling I've ever had in Chinatown here before. Exactly. They really made a name for themselves with the way they're frying it. It's super unique. The dumplings are nicely wrapped up all the way around and they're exposed on the two ends. So you can see the filling, the juiciness, the moist, everything. Don't quote me on this, but yeah, it's the only place I've seen. And they make it almost like a little rectangular shape. They definitely nailed the moist to fry ratio. Oh. I also have to say that the way Ming shook it up, they really spread out the chili oil where it's just not that hot for me. Right. As someone that doesn't love the spiciest, hottest food, and for someone that just want to dive right in and start eating, instead of dipping, wasting time dipping, I like this way more. Now these might look very scary with the chili oil, but trust, this is a super bite. Super bite for super taste. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cheap. 58 cents each. What are you going to do when you see the day when dumplings cost a dollar each? I'll be so sad. The search will continue. Shujiao Fujo Cuisine. Dare I call this the king of Chinatown cheap eats? These dumplings are one of the cheapest ones that we're going to on this whole food tour today. These steamed dumplings are super nostalgic for me. I grew up on these. 
Okay, I don't, I don't know if there is a cheaper location in Chinatown for everything. Oh yeah, there's a lot of variety here, yeah. So I have a 4A large. And all of us have had this before. And we can vouch before even trying it on camera how good this is, but let's, let's confirm it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. And they're always busy for a good reason, like silky smooth, a lot of chives too. I think yeah. this is the most chives we've gotten all day. It's one of those standbys right there. Always know it's gonna be quality. Silky, juicy, smooth, and if you can't handle chili oil, these are your go-to's. Your go Actually, after having all the chili oil, I was like, where is the extra spice? I need a little more fire in my life. But yeah, it doesn't need chili oil. It's fantastic without it, with it. And the nice thing about Shuzhou Fuzhou Cuisine is that they are famous for their peanut noodles, yes. some other other foods too. So you can eat other things there as well. They're very versatile. Yes. Why variety at that spot? If you're visiting Chinatown for the first time, a lot of Ben and Ming's picks are in my Chinatown thatch guides. Check them out in the description below. It's dumpling time. This is all I ever wanted in life. Good food, a show with a girl. It's so good. Here. Did you know you can also buy these frozen? <gasps> yes, you can. I love frozen dumplings. All you have to do is boil it for eight minutes when yep. you go home. Yep. <laughs> eight minutes. And then some vinegar and soy sauce and you're good to go. <laughs> Do you two agree? Best budget date idea in New York City. Dumplings, park, <laughs> perfect. So good. If you love Chinatown, you probably want to know more about the most hyped eateries. In this video, we go to the most popular spots in the neighborhood to see if they're worth it. Head here next.